All right, the PNP <laughs> the PNP them say Matthew Samuda, Matthew Samuda, don't live in a sentence. Him don't live in a St. Mary. Him don't live within the boundaries of which make him legal to be a caretaker for the Jamaica Labour Party. No, I want big up all of the subscribers them. I want big up YouTube. And remember, I'm a new political fan cam this because my dance hall fan cam coming back in September. So big up Mr. Jones Christopher. I'm big up Pinky. I'm big up Everett. I'm big up Brent. Big up everybody. Now, calm down too, grand. You know some of them on the panel, them. Over the adult network. I'm listening to them. Sometimes I'm about to participate in the talking. I just listen to them carefully. But I didn't have to be a labor right. I not have that slang there. Me did have to be a labor right. Because... I don't know if these people go to school from social media, but them have some real crazy, crazy, crazy opinion on politics in Jamaica. Them no sound educative. Them no sound educational. Them no sound like them have the education none at all, at all, at all, at all. But not disrespect them, but big up on them. But I want to listen. Where them PNP fans yeah, sit on a night time in a one panel, but the panel panel do some of your eyeglass <laughs> and talk and I try to preach this to them fellow Jamaicans and worldwide about politics in Jamaica. Me think a lie most of what they must say because they don't have no other thing to say more than tell people a lie. But more here, you have to say. So they go play a video where them a debate about the Matthew Samoda by election a run for the NESA down a sentence. Them say it illegal. Them say Matthew is a fraud. Them say Matthew fraud the EOJ. Them say Matthew is supposed to be locked up. What do you think? Listen to them and I'll get back to you. <laughs> Go mm -hmm. and take out an injunction against that person. I don't okay. care which party he belongs to. He must mm -hmm. pay back the taxpayer of this country, the money that he collected because he has breaking the constitution of Jamaica. The constitution mm -hmm. underneath the local government act that you must live within the parish. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Well, Anne, and Mar, if you know that it is true and you didn't report it, you're liable to, you know. That's Thank you. That's so liable. Thank you. You see the difference between PNP and JLP? So we don't to, try to justify you wrong into right. Yes. You Go and take an injunction. Go and take out. You can do it. You don't have to have no money. Liar yes. will gladly take up this case. That. You right. know that I'm coming to a radio that you're in trouble and you shall be charged with that too. If you Sorry. know that it's true, okay, we're we're on, on the and don't live on with in the parish for a year. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We're not running listen, away then. Listen, don't scare listen, man. Here. What to we give us? Hello. 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 They're not yes. scaring me because listen, we're not scared. We're I've not scared been doing listen, no, I've been doing this for from I was 18 years old. My sister yes. was scooting here for the People's National Party. We work for the People's National Party. We just stop working. Because, listen to me and listen Mar, to me. Mar, listen, Mar, listen, Mar, listen, listen to me. Listen to me. Sharp point, no, no not Mar, I'm tired to hear that uh, you, you used to work hello. for the PNP. Hello, hello, hello. You are a liar. Calm down. Calm down. You are a liar. 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 You allow her to speak and then after she speak we give her advice in terms of where and when we think there's a little assistance just allow her to speak please all right right go ahead mar turn on back your microphone i have to bring order to the platform we do things different over here no man let us listen to each other no man me know your birthday you know dr cole and maybe you're under the seventh or eighth um lick about one take it easy man Yes, Mar, continue. Please turn on your microphone, as you were saying. 
So anyway, as I'm saying, it has been going on for years. We've been notifying the people them. We, we notify everybody and nobody do anything about it. And it, 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 EOJ is basically run by the Jamaica Labour Party in St. Anne. Most of the workers there, presiding officers, everybody there is under the Jamaica Labour Party. It's nothing new. They all know about this and sit. One person can do it, yes, but what about the, 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 the helping hand behind the one person? How does that work? We've been saying it for years. Not today, not yesterday. Years. The discrepancy in the um the, the, the voters guide, the voters list, we've been saying it for years and nobody listens. If Dr. Ryan never come around here, it wouldn't be broadcast on this platform right here, so he's the only one who handled that mantle well so this we've is been it, saying it for years dre let me just say this and also mars this is it based on that based on the fact that dr simpson highlighted the the the, the improprieties within the eog in northeastern um saint anne it is a clear indication that he dr simpson needs to write again of which he said that he's writing a third letter the last time we we had him on this platform that he's writing a third letter to the director of elections and if he gets no um response in the allegation that is being publicized he then need to take it there are so many radio stations in jamaica there are so many television stations that he can go to and um, have interviews, book a spot um, on radio or television, and you talk about these things because you two are trying, he, he himself is trying to uphold the constitution of Jamaica. That is it. Right? That is it. And, and, and I say this, of which I was getting into my next point about the CRC. This CRC, this new constitutional reform, that is being put together now by the Jamaica Labour Party. I don't see it signing off at any time soon. And the and the PNP um, personnel that are on that cons, um, that committee, I don't want them to sign anything off regarding this new CRC because what it is only soothing. It is only soothing to the Jamaica Labour Party's agenda, right? If when we look on these things in Audrey every single day the prime minister himself had breached the constitution yesterday by announcing a by-election right and i say this every day that the prime minister and also mati samuda are breaching the constitution breaching the um the constitution that governs the electoral uh, office um, stick, up in, stick up in the do it because uh, dino is saying that uh, with regards to mati samuda if the owner of the house right states that he or she rented him the house it's over i don't agree with you dino respectfully because based on the constitution but samuda have to reside in that constituency for what a year before him can, a year before yes. him can, a year. Can, so it doesn't matter if this person agrees say yes matter samuda rent this place and him live. he has not been living in that constituency for a year so no matter Dream. Jay, yes, that person, that person house is a three bedroom house and she has five kids. There's no way he, she can rent him room. Look at that. Thank you there you much. go. There you go. So continue, Andre. Yes. And that Dino person is a clear hmm. indicator that they support the discrepancies. The, 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 no, no, the no, 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 no. Do I? Dino is a, Dino is a comrade. Dino. Okay. Know, is that, you know, so, is that let me apologize but, that but, let me apologize for that let me apologize for that but i, don't, I, agree, that I don't agree with but this i don't statement. agree with that i don't you agree with that, that, um, that that comrade, no way all right i apologize for that but as i was saying you know, continuing with my discussion the crc that the government is coming up with it only suits them and if they get a say another th another term in government right we're going to be dark you see all of these um 
this corruption that is happening in the Jamaica Labour Party currently. And I was having a discussion with Dr. Audrey Dixon, that's the candidate for North Central Clarendon, about Tuesday. And I was saying to him that, comrade, listen, we cannot, when we form government, we cannot have all of these baggages, right, going into government and going to the people. We have to set standards and barriers to not have all of these things following us, what is following the Jamaica Labour Party. Because, you know, comrades, we're going to be scrutinized by every single inch and mile when we turn, when it becomes government. And of such, we have to make sure that our houses are in order, clean. Going on, our comrade leader, I really and truly applaud him. When Dre touched the arm, the point of what happened to the other 49 members, right, from the government MPs, who the Prime Minister should be able to appoint as a new Minister of Finance. And when we look on how our party leader structure his um, shadow ministers, is that he would incorporate um, experienced persons, he would incorporate uh, average leaders and also junior ministers, right? If you look on, we have about, say, if we go back into finance, we have uh, a minister, then you have junior minister as well, where that is concerned. So it's an incorporation of not just one set of age, but you have persons who you can pass down um, responsibilities to to carry on the legacy and to carry on the country forward. As it relates to that um, four teachers being sacked by their position at St. James High School, that gentleman, I've been seeing him and hearing about him all over social media, having and getting contracts all over. And what is the government doing about this thing? What is the prime minister doing, right? Nothing. So you see, when we come on these platforms, it is an indication to constantly throw the, 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 the whole corruption to the people of Jamaica of the current Jamaica Labour Party government. You understand? So we don't want to be having to think as if we can't go back into power as a People's National Party go, um, people. We can and we will. So we have to put these things to the people, let them know that corruption is all in the Jamaica Labour Party and it seems as if it will not stop until we get them out. So comrades, I'm not going to be long as I have so many things to get done today. But you know, Dre, I'm, I always have to be listening. It's like your program is one of the programs that I really don't listen to Power 106 anymore or I listen to um, to any other radio stations in the morning, of which I used to. But the Dre Bryan show is what I get most of my information now where politics is concerned. And I applaud you for that. So comrades, this is my two cents for today. And I will be listening on coming out of the box to give somebody else a chance to speak so one love the word is love and time definitely comes all right morning Joe. let me uh, clear up something and i don't think we need to deliver it for too long because here what happened there are flaws in our constitution a lot of flaws in our constitution and not in every aspect of the constitution including including electoral matters the Constitution claims once he lives in the here for 12 months and his name is on the voters list. No, what what part is normally to so the market are you know, because this was something came up before the electoral electoral office for you know, and they do the investigation. It's it's it, 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 me and you know he has never lived there, he has never slept there at night. But once they have document from the owner of the house, he lived there for the past so much years. But but, but there's nothing the electoral office can do. Nothing at all. So if you try to read in the court, the electoral office can say, this is the address we have for him. You can't meet them in court. So, so Dino, you are saying that you know something is wrong 
And even when it is wrong, you are saying that, uh, you know, matter what we try, there's no point fighting it because, uh, I mean, they can get away with something that obviously is wrong. I don't like the way in which you're, you're, you're putting yeah, it. Dre, but because the Constitution leaves that flaws. You have Excuse to me, the please. Dana, morning. Yeah. Um, morning, everyone. I have to Hi, disagree Ibra. with you. If, let's say, let's say the owner for premises gives him a, the, the bad data notice to say he's been living there for four years. Uh -huh. And, okay, fine, the learned judge might ask, because I would ask, let me see your utility bills leading back to the two, three years you're claiming that you have lived here before. If he cannot produce those. Right. How many persons live in a house and the owner's house still pay utility bills? You can't use that. Yes, Dino. The owner for the house is the owner for the house going to pay your, your cable bill, your but internet the, bill. The, bill? the bill still comes in the owner's name. No, Dino. The owner does not apply for your cable or your internet bill. You, you got the, the, owner, the, the water you got bill the might right. come in the owner's right. name. But you not your house. electric you bill. We're not going to argue on it. I, I'm disagreeing I with you and I'm entitled to my I, opinion. There's a lot of things I can expose, but I won't say it here and, and, and here. I can't tell I have you. to disagree with you. I have to disagree there's a lot of things I know of person. I've been in charge of PMP, literal matters of the PMP for many years, and there's a lot of things I can, and I would say it right here. Okay, Dino. Okay, Dino. Okay, Dino. So what Dino. do you what do you suggest, Dino? Because we need, obviously we need to change the constitution. But the constitution is clear. The constitution <laughs> says you are not living there for twelve months. You cannot get but residency. What, Jay, are you gonna but Dino, 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 Dino. Do a man of Matthew um Samuda status will live there? Come we go, come we go, um, technical now in, 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 in law. Do a man, right, as a I minister want, of government... I don't want to go a certain way, because certain things I can expose on the air, and I don't want to do it. But you and I know, Dino, mm -hmm. that a man in government, a senator, that have to have well, certain minister. security... A minister, you have to have certain yeah, security yeah. details. If, I, if this... I talk, I can talk to your private on a phone, and I'll, I'll, I'll point a lot of the same situation to you. Many, many of them. It is something going on for years. We can't All understand right. this country. That's why this country is going to be a field. All right. Crave your indulgence, Dre. Crave your indulgence, Dino. Everybody, stop. Unlike the local government elections, which required a member of parliament to live in the parish, a council to live in the parish, there is yeah. no such mandate for MP. None. You can't live anywhere. So, make me finish off. That's not what I know. Me know say so you have to live in a... Me name has to be on the candidate voters that's in the constituency. So he has to live in the constituency. In no, no, no. No. I just read the constitution a while ago. No. We, know no. a we have so many things to be delivered with. Well, I know what the comments. Once you is a member of the Commonwealth, right? 21 and over. And you have lived in the Commonwealth for one year. You are entitled to sit in the House of Representatives. No, it doesn't say you have to live in that parish. That's a no, no, that's it, a, no, that's a different situation. For you, this one I said, you know, and it's the same one I tell about the voting as member of parliament. You don't have to live in that parish. I have been a candidate in election. You have to be in the parish on the voters list. But do you know? No, no do you not know? Me do you not know? What about them MP where live at town? I have to put a cherry on the board. Then leave a tub and then the address is sent, sent me. Sent a, no. All right. Make, make me not go over that. But there is no requirement to go into certain things because there's a lot I know. Who will I know? So, so like what you drink come on a while ago said the time passed, the year passed, all that, all that time. No, right? no, that doesn't require, this is just an overstatement. Yeah, there is no requirement for an MP to live in the era of what in the era. So don't, don't make me get sidetracked with that. It has to be, I mean, I ask that, you have to live in the parish. Your name must be at the in the parish. I never understand what you're doing, man. But let me give let me, let me, let me give Let me give Garwin. Let me give let me give Garwin a chance to morning, come morning. in the conversation. Morning. Yes, Garwin, good good morning. P and P. Let me just say this. Understanding. Well on, well on, well on.
Let me just say question, please. Let me just say question, please. A member of parliament do not have to live in the area in which he represents. I can tell you this because I have worked among several of them. Yes? Thank you very much. Several and that's all we want to clear up so we can move on and okay. touch okay. myriads of culture. Award, Award and Darwin. But I still not understand the yes, point but, I was listen, trying to make. We all li, 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 know, listen, but, well, I know Garwin, we all know that the member of, look how much MP live uptown and them belong, them, them constituency, they downtown. We know so a MP no, so not always have to live in a them constituency. Yes, but, but, the point yes, we are trying but, to make but, is... Let me finish the answer. Let me finish the answer. Let me finish it. But... In order to vote in a constituency, you have to prove that you are living there for over one year. Exactly. And Matthew no, has, yes, has not been living in Northeast St. Anne for one year. He has never lived there any at all. Exactly. So, no help me make and, it make sense and, now. And, yes. And what the Constitution also says is that for in order to become a councillor for a division in any parish, you have to be living in the era to which you are contesting. So, so, yeah, so not so the that. era, the, the parish. The parish, sorry, the parish. Thank you. You are, you, are, you are running. So you can't yeah. come from, you can't live, a, you can't live at what you are running as St. Mary. So, Gawain, what we are saying, what we agree with Dre, what um, Matthew Samuel would do, is a criminal offense. Yes, in creating But there is no need for him to do that. that. Yes, there was exactly. no need and, for and, him to and, do that. Question. And, Why are you thinking when I look at so going to address in that era to give the leader to an office? It wasn't a part of the country. I don't know man. why I'm doing it, for there was no requirement for him to do it. No, 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 let me give you a fax. Let me give you a fax. Let me give you a fax to Dino. I'm your call name, right? Yeah. There is a MP living in Kingstown mm -hmm. and the People's National Party. Right? That is Michael Phillips, mm -hmm. the son of Peter Phillips, mm -hmm. and represent in a Manchester. I'm um, thinking there for me. A MP don't have to live within the parish. Mr. 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 Orin Cole, respectfully, uh, that is not the issue at hand. I agree that the member of parliament does not have to live within the constituency he, re he represents. That is not the issue. The point I'm trying to make is why is it that Matthew Samuda create electoral fraud? and tell the people of Naughty Centan that he has been living at a particular premises when he does not live there. And even if him give that whereabout that him come from there, he has not been living there for the past year to register in that constituency. It is electoral fraud. I, 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 I don't want to call it's me and for the council. This has been going on for many years. Uno still, uno still, uno still, uno still, uno still, uno still not get the point where me make. Una, I don't una, care. Una, what, no, una, no, 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 I'm talking a different point from what we are talking on. The man commit fraud. And at that point, I say, I don't understand why he do keep on saying he can't come yeah. up with who commit the this. The man is like a damn thief. Dre acknowledge the fact, say, he not have to vote there, he not have to no live there, I, I and why he do it. Dre, um, well, on the deal, one minute and then I talk. What, what Dre, I try to show you, I agree with him. There was no need for Matthew to do what he do. Right? Because he could have easily run and live where he live. But what he committed is a fraud, electoral fraud. Exactly. Yeah, they don't know the law. They don't know the law and they believe they may wrong. And they might try to put in something. Some week, and that's it. And they just find it difficult to get what they say. Matt, yeah. Matt is we, something. We are just, man. Yeah, yeah, just, just a minute. minute. Matt, just, just a minute. minute. Just a minute. Just a minute. Well, beg your minute, please. Everybody, beg your minute. This little idiot down in our box to say he's a pastor. He is going to be MP. Right? Mr. Cole, 
can you ignore Ian Road? Ian Road is a labor right. I no, I know, I, but him say he's a Christian. I don't right? care who, I do not care who him, him is. Him is a to, pastor. I want to thank him for being here to add to my views. Ignore, ignore the nasty labor rights in my comments and let us focus on the issue at hand. The point <coughs> I'm trying to make. Matthew Samuda is poised to become the member of parliament for North East St. Anne. He does not care if he live at Kingston, right? The fact I'm trying to, to put across is there was no need for him to create electoral fraud that him live in a... Darwin, you can't mute your mic, brother, like what you're now on top. Thank you very much, sir. The point I'm trying to make is Matthew Samuda is poised to become a member of parliament. You do not need to reside in the constituency you represent. You can live at Kingston and represent a country constituency. Why would you go to the extreme mile to commit electoral fraud and say you live at a particular whereabout when it is not true? We want him to come out and address the allegations, and it is not alleged. We saw Dr. Ryan Simpson, the caretaker, came out with the proof that Matthew Samuda has signed the paper along with the Jamaica Labour Party scrutiny and say, yes, I just saw him live. He has been a resident here, and it is not true. It is electoral fraud, and we will not rest the issue until him clear it up and apologize to the people of North East St. Anne. Wrong is wrong and right is right. Oh, no, can't come tell me say it has been happening for years. I don't care. Matthew Samuda has been caught. And, and if you know, want to bring the proof, say such and such a person has been doing it fine. Me not have no proof of that, but we have proof that Matthew Samuda has created electoral fraud and we will continue to speak on that issue until others come to the forefront but for now Matthew Samuda deserve to apologize to the people people are not sent on and that me comfort I don't care what nobody wants to say right is right and wrong is wrong and you keep on saying it has been happening for years and blame the constitution prove it on the platform the others have been creating such. I don't approve of it, but I have proof. Say Matthew Samuda has created electoral fraud. You have given an address belonging to your Jamaica Labour Party scrutiny. So you live at this house and it is not true. I am need to re either come prove so you live there or apologize to the people. You are a lawmaker, you are a senator, and you ought to know better. It's shameful, and it's a criminal act. And you need to pay for what you have done. I don't have to run for no MP neither. Thank you I'm very much. You because I'm a fraud. Thank you. You're a fraud, you know, pass the test to run for MP. All right. So, now okay. that we want Matthew Samuda, that the police and the EOJ for do them work, make a focus back now and track and the labor right and the atrocity and that that will come to talk about. 